Hey, Will, Lyft just this afternoon announcing its first quarter's earnings release date and withdrawing its full-year guidance. This comes less than a week after Uber also withdrew its full-year guidance and said that it would be marking down some of its investments. Now, this also comes as ride-sharing bookings continue to plummet. Third-party data from Second Measure, which analyzes purchases, credit card transactions, showing that Uber rides were down some 85 percent, Lyft rides down 89 percent for the week of March 30th. So clearly these guys are feel feeling some pain in their uh, earnings this recent quarter should be interesting. Back to you. Dee, uh, about, I, I forget exactly when it was, two or three weeks ago, four weeks ago, we, we saw an update, I think, from Lyft that suggested uh, they hadn't seen a material impact on their bookings, and the share prices jumped on that news. This uh, was March 4th, I'm being told by my excellent producer, uh, when that came out. This obviously suggests otherwise, and uh, yes. I don't know if we can bring up the after-hours stocks again, but a little bit of a surprise, given that bounce three or four weeks ago, that, that they're not trading down on this news. So, Wilf, I think you're referring to Uber's uh, update analyst call. Dara Khazar Shahi got on the phone and he tried to reassure investors that even in their worst case scenario, which he said was gross bookings down 80 percent for the year, they would have about four billion dollars in cash. So while the most recent numbers look even worse than that worst case scenario of 80 percent, they were down 85 percent in one week. Um, I think analysts at least have an understanding that Uber and Lyft have some cash on their balance sheets thanks to their IPOs last year, which didn't go well, but at least it gave them a little bit of a cushion. So this has been coming. And Dara Khazar Shahi did mention that they are seeing rides down some 70 percent in some cases in markets like Seattle. But I'm not sure if they prepare for this long amount of pain. The real question is, how long does this go on for? Are they able to make this up in the rest of the year in different markets around the world as they seem to recover, but then perhaps see second wave. So still a lot of question marks and we'll get more indication when they report. Yeah, nobody knows the answers to those questions though. Deirdre, thank you.